Please welcome with me Dr. Mohammed Najjar from the British Syrian S S Medical Society. Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum and thank you all for coming today. We are amazed and humbled by the welcome of the British people and the Europeans to our people. I thank you all from the depth of my heart. I could speak about the evils of the Syrian regime and all his criminal allies and the cruelty of the extremists in Syria and the Middle East. All this has been said thousands of times and adding my voice will do nothing. Instead, I want to talk of the immediate problems. Vast numbers of Syrians have fled our homeland for safety in neighboring countries. Hundreds of thousands have made their way to Europe and many thousands are still on their way. They have found individual acts of kindness and charity which reaffirms my faith in humanity. Amid an ocean of broken promises by politicians, the migration crisis of the last weeks have brought home to many in Europe the desperate plight of my people. Mr. Cameron, while we are grateful for the generosity of the British government's aid program in, in Syria and Lebanon and Jordan, such generosity is merely a sticking plaster over a wider and deeper problem in Syria. The Syrians in their millions have fled homes and jobs and businesses. They have seen loved ones killed and maimed by this war. They have been given sanctuary and only sanctuary in neighboring countries. They have no right to work, to settle or to, break, to progress in their lives. They only have the right to exist. Their existence is precarious and arbitrary. For them, this war is a personal tragedy and a national catastrophe. The United Nations and other aid agencies try to provide what relief they have limited funds allowed, but they cannot relieve the torment of our people in Syria. And so they have come, denied a future in the camps. They have come to Europe, first in their hundreds, then in their thousands, and now in the tens of thousands, the Syrians have begun to move to seek permanence and a future. Men and women and children drowned at sea while politicians talked and vacillated. Some said that there should be no rescues to discourage Syrians coming. They ignored the fact that Syrians have come despite the dangers because they have no choice. This year has seen such a wave of refugees that the governments were forced to take notice. The generosity of the European people, the Germans and us to be enforced in, in this square. We are here to say welcome to refugees, not only the Syrian refugees. Not only the Syrian refugees. We are here to welcome everyone who has been oppressed in their country. We are here to welcome everyone who has been treated unjustly in, in, in anywhere in the, in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone and thanks to everyone who came to this demonstration and those who are supporting the Syrian people and all those oppressed around the world. God bless you all and thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much Dr. Nadia.